Hello friends, today I'm sitting in a boat and what's the date today? 25 maybe? Yep. Monday 25, year 2021. 20, and here is the mock-up and this is where they provide buoyancy when the boat is sealing over and uh, I tried to explain this yesterday but I was just by myself so uh, well, it's not so good. And here Below is going to be six and three roofs, and under here is 12 of them too, and so it's going to be about 150 liters, and that's going to give me a range to about from Madeira to New Zealand without stopping. So, but what I'm going to explain today is the hatch in the front, and it's going to be five hatches, one there, one up here, and one back there, and one here. So I thought I was going to make tooling for them. But then I realized here in the back, I didn't have enough space. So I thought, well, if I move the mission a bit further back, I got more space. And then I thought look, I could move the rudder axis, heel it a bit back. But then I was starting thinking to, how does that affect the uh, steering so interference that has interfered with the rudder axis and that's really the biggest problem on a designing a boat because so many things affecting each other while well, i come up and show you how to get up like this so here back before the mission was up here now I move the 20 centimeters here. Now I can move the rudder axis. Oh. Something like that. Like that, so it's healing. And how does that affect the steering? Well, I made a model. Here is boots. The old. But axis going this way. And here is the axis on the transom going the other way. But when you start healing them, like 45 degrees, like this, he keeps pointing, make, giving rudder effects, but this just pointing straight up. So, you see, the strange thing is, whatever you do, there's always something otherwise, you know. So, the thing is, if you have a drawing, never change the drawing, of course, what you do in one end, you know, seems like harmless, but affects things in the other end. So, thank you much for today. Goodbye.